Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'm gonna do a reading here for the second full moon of 2023, the full moon in Leo. See what energies are coming up for us at this time. So you could take this reading for you or you could take it as a reading for the collective, however you wanna do it. However the message translates for you, please take it that way. If it doesn't work for you, if you don't like the full moon, I don't know why you're on my channel <laughs> since 13 moon tarot, but if you don't like these energies or you don't like my style, it's all good, no worries. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Andy. Okay, let's get into it. There's something that's a little bit playful, I feel like, with this energy. Now, when I've been listening to things about this particular full moon, like watching astrology videos, a lot of them were talking about drama. And of course, Leo can be dramatic. You know, in the lower polarity, there can be a lot of drama with Leo. And there's other aspects going on that can certainly, you know, facilitate that energy. But the energy that I've been channeling for this full moon is really playful. It's really joyous. It's There's a certain kind of vitality here. I'm, I'm hearing self-improvement. A, a wanting to self-improve in some way. Yeah. There's a strength here. You know, we have Leo that's ruled by the sun coming into full moon energy. So we have the sun and the moon, a beautiful balance, but it's also kind of like revitalizing what the moon represents, intuition, emotion, feminine energy. I'm, I'm hearing connection to others. I don't know, okay, because I normally don't associate that with the moon, but I'd see it as more of an individual energy, but okay, connection to the others, maybe heart chakra opening from a very deep place. It could also be addressing your subconscious fears. I'm, I'm hearing magnetism. Mm -hmm. Something about a magnetism. You're going to be very magnetic at this time. So you might have an uptick in your business or meet new friends or draw in love interests or make a stronger bond with your partner. Whatever it is, there's something magnetic, a magnetic pull here happening at this full moon. I really feel like it's a time to release your fear and enjoy yourself. Okay. And of course, stay away from drama <laughs> unless it's like, you know, a movie <laughs> see I don't know there's a silly energy here unless it's like a movie that's in the the drama genre then go ahead <laughs> all right let's get into it guys let's get into this reading for you thank you everybody for your support we made it to 30,000 K I can't believe it that's so cool this last 10 K flew by so quickly uh, so I am going to give away another free reading since we did go up another 10K. I'm going to do that every 10K for however long it goes. Uh, so for this one, if you want to enter to win a free reading with me, free 15-minute reading, then you can hashtag, like do the actual hashtag thing, uh, 13 moon, and then tell me what this Leo full moon means to you. Okay, and then I'll give you uh, an opportunity to enter in other videos as well. I'll announce the winner in a few weeks. Okay, let's get into it, Spirit Guides. What's going on here for the Leo full moon? We're going to pull out six cards. I have a spread in front of me that I'm going off of that I'm using. Yeah, connection. See? Connection to others. Mm-hmm. Okay. I didn't like the way that felt. I didn't even see what they were, but I didn't like it. So let's see. Yeah, okay. Interesting. I want to kind of double up on this here. Wow. Feminine energy with connection. Didn't I just mention those things? So connecting to your divine feminine energy. We all have ma masculine feminine energies within us. I'm hearing and around us. Okay, so connecting here. Maybe you're making connections with other people based on this kind of feminine, intuitive frequency 
Well, we have the balance with the sun and the moon, feminine and masculine. Okay, let's get some more. Okay, and we'll get the tarot out as well here. I'll pull these myself for the collective spirit, for the collective here. Ooh. Interesting, okay. Let's, this card wants me to look at it. Six of pentacles here. You're being given an opportunity to, to be victorious here in a situation. Six of wands. Okay. So let's see. What have you created and manifested since the new moon in Aquarius? Well, we have connection here. And we have feminine energy and the two of cups. You are connecting here. It's well, I'm getting to a place a, a, a a place within you that really cares about you. <laughs> I feel like it's like your your inner mother, you know, no matter what your gender is. It's like a place inside of you that really cares about you, that wants to see the best for you, that wants you to be happy. Oh, it's very sweet. It's like you're accepting that care, that inner care from yourself. Now, of course, some of you could be connecting with a divine feminine energy. Absolutely. If you're looking for love or you're looking for a business partnership in which that kind of energy is what you desire, then you could absolutely be making that connection. But I think for most of us here, it's a matter of accepting the connection that has been wanting to be made with our inner caretaker. I love this. This is like really listening to your body, to your intuition, when it's telling you it needs something. It needs to rest, or it needs to play, or it needs to laugh, or it needs to go against the grain, or it needs to do this, you know? It's like not worrying about what other people are going to think and say and how they're going to judge you. It's taking care about you. Self-considerate energy. I love that. See, it's like that sun, that vitality, giving strength to the feminine moon energy. It feels like definitely with the two of cups here, a heart chakra opening. Okay, I'm hearing ping respects here, 909. Okay, where are you now? Obstacle. Discernment. And the Six of Cups. Well, this is pretty clear, isn't it? It's <laughs> something from the past has been an obstacle for you. And now you are seeing that. You are discerning that. Okay, this could be a past mindset a subconscious patterning, it could be a relationship with a family member, it could be a soulmate, a soul contract, a love interest, a old career path that you've been kind of in for some time. Something from the past here has definitely been an obstacle for you. 
It could be your way of thinking about the past as well. Perhaps you're gaining a new perspective now. You're discerning here. And I feel like accepting as well that something has to be let go of or transformed because you're not really able to well, I'm getting, feel the goodness that is you, feel the, feel the good times. I'm seeing the California raisins here. I don't know. What? I used to have all those little figures when I was a kid. Okay. It's yeah. It's like, I'm seeing them singing and dancing. Interesting. It's like maybe, yeah, well, it's childhood. It's nostalgia, right? Something's been interesting. Something's been blocking you from having a good time in your life. And you're discerning that now. I feel like you're releasing that. This is really nice. It's beautiful. Okay. What is coming into your conscious awareness? We have path. It's all good. And king of swords. Do I really need to even interpret all this? I feel like it's so clear here. There's a lot of clarity at this time. Okay. This full moon's bringing a lot of clarity. You're realizing here, it's coming into your conscious awareness that everything that's happened to you on your path is for a reason, okay? It's taught you things. It's given you wisdom, knowledge. I, I'm get, Not only to share with others, but to act from. The rest of your path is going to be filled with conscious awareness and action. I mean, I doubt that's going to be 100% of the time. We all have a shadow, but that's what I'm getting, okay? Spirit doesn't want to talk about. Spirit wants to say that you're going to have conscious awareness on the rest of your path here. And that everything that's happened, it's not like, oh, it's all good. It's not like a nonchalant shrugging it off. It's spirit really saying, no. It was all good for you. It was really all for your good. Everything that happened, even the pain, even the difficulty. And I know sometimes that's hard to accept and hard to see and understand the divine cosmic plan. But you will see why. I want another, um, can I get another tarot card on this spirit? Tell me more about what we're trying to say here. Strength. Yeah, exactly. It's all to make you stronger. And it feels like with the King of Swords here, this has something to do with, um, I'm hearing patterning, your thought patterns, the way you perceive the world, how you understand the truth, your ability to discern the truth as well. You standing up for what you believe in and not... Um, falling prey to groupthink or other people's projections of you. Can you tell me more about the path here a little bit? <laughs> the sun. <laughs> Guys, this is so positive. <laughs> See? Channel the energy into positivity and it will happen. Okay. The sun with the path. Yeah, everything's clear ahead. The path is clear. The sun is here. And look, I love this sun card because it's also the chariot, which is the year that we're in. 2023 is a seven, which is the chariot card. So the sun and the chariot energy together is what I'm seeing here. It's all good. That's coming to your conscious awareness. Oh, what a relief. What a, what a good feeling for you and me. This is beautiful. Congratulations, everybody. Well, I need to say something else here. Hold on. <laughs> something else needs to be said. Phenomenon. Yeah, there's something here with plants. It's like reincarnation. Spirit wants you to know that you did this. You got yourself to this place. This is you and your hard work. Nothing is given. Everything is earned. That's what I'm getting. 
Nothing has been given. Everything has been earned. You earned this. You earned this path. With reincarnation, maybe from past lives as well. Okay. What is no longer serving you? We have source, creativity, and the fool here. This is like some kind of novice energy here. I definitely need clarity here, spirit. What are we talking about for what will no longer serve with source, the fool, and creativity? Queen of Cups in reverse. Perhaps you are asking spirit here for a new beginning This reminds me of the Three of Cups, so maybe it's a reconciliation or it's coming together with a certain energy here or to be or to have success in a certain area in which you were creative. But it's like you were asking spirit here for some new energy, new beginning here. But there was something about this energy that wasn't in alignment with you and your heart. Is that what is that what's going on here tell me some more what is no longer serving abundance dreams and support it's like you've graduated you know this energy was serving you at some point, okay? Connecting to source, being creative about your new path and your new beginning, manifesting, envisioning, dreaming. And it's like, that was great. But right now, it's not in alignment with you because you're beyond it, because you've passed it, because you've done it. Because dreaming about your abundance and asking spirit for support is kind of like putting yourself back to a place in which you didn't have these things. You do have these things now. So perhaps this is the energy of wanting to manifest or trying to get something very specific and that's ending. Some of you may also have started a new creative path. Uh, and what happened there? And why is that ending? The chariot in reverse, two of swords. Well, you decided, right? This is all based on your decision. That something, you know, it's like you've decided here. I'm turning my direct, my perspective. I'm turning direction. Yeah, I'm turning in a new direction towards something else. Okay. Are we good with that? Yeah. I guess my challenge, what I'm feeling here is the cards themselves are so positive, yet it's something it's ending, but it's in your benefit here. It feels like maybe it's the novice energy, asking for support, you know, feeling like I'm just at the beginning with something and, you know, if I could have some guidance to how to, or creative energy on how to get this thing going or how to turn something into what I want, that would be great, Spirit. Spirit's like, well, you don't have to ask anymore because you earned it. You did it. Not, yes, that's it. Nothing was given <laughs> here. And it's in the past you were asking maybe for Spirit to give you something or for someone to give you something. And you just don't need to ask for that anymore. Okay. So how can you release and let go of these energies? We have deluge. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> you guys correct me all the time. New day and the ace of cups. Well, it's like seeing that the storm or you know, all the emotions that came out of this situation here of the past, you know, of these, this old energy that you were working with, as well as this desire for something to happen. All the emotions here actually ended up giving you 
a new opportunity. Hmm, how do I say this? Sometimes when we're opening our heart chakra because we want to bring something in, you know, and we have a very particular idea of what that something is. Maybe it's a person or a job or I don't know, somewhere we want to live. You know, we open our heart to it. We focus on it. We try to manifest something happening. We put all this emotional, intuitive energy into it. And it doesn't happen. But that was kind of the point. You know, like what needed to happen was for you to open your heart chakra so that what was really for you could come towards you. And all the while your conscious mind thought it knew what it wanted and needed. Right? I hope I'm explaining this right. I must be having a terrible aspect with my Mercury today. <laughs> yeah. It's like your conscious mind was trying to bring something towards you. So you opened your heart chakra. And your heart chakra was like, thank you. Now we can actually pull in what is good for us, not what you're thinking is good for us. It's a new day. This is new love, new creative opportunities here, new energy coming from like some past emotional outpouring or even something that was a little bit stormy here. I'm hearing washed away, something that was washed away. Perhaps you were trying to save or, or keep something in high tide. I'm hearing keep something in high tide. Yeah. Okay, so how can you release and let go of these energies is to focus on the new day, to focus on what is now in front of you, the opportunity. king of wands and go after it with all of your passion all of your energy see that cup get that cup <laughs> something that you were holding on to okay has gone up in flames so to speak okay you you sat there you watched it disintegrate you watched it float away from you even though you wanted it to stay and spirits asking you to give yourself credit for knowing and accepting and believing and having faith that that's what was meant to happen, that that was teaching you something larger and allowing something bigger for something bigger to come in for you. Okay. What additional resources are available to you as you release and let go? We have air blocked inner journey and the four of wands. This is telling me here with air blocked and inner journey, the answers that you seek, and this is 2323, is always the case, but maybe you just need a little bit of a reminder here. Answers that you seek are always within you. Okay, I'm taking air energy here to be outside, external thoughts, communication, ideas, as something that is being blocked right now so you can focus on your inner truth. You know, the journey ahead is all good. Like we saw, the path ahead is all good. But the path and journey within is also all good. You know, it's going to bring you to a place of union with yourself and eventually with something else that is really meant for you. Some source of stability here. You've been what you've been doing is developing a lot of strength and grounding energy so that when difficult situations come up and get you mentally messed up or emotionally messed up, you're able to always bring yourself back home to center, to balance sun and moon. So right now, during this full moon, spirit is saying that a major resource that you have is your inner wisdom going within and going on your inner journey and blocking outside noise 
you know, outside ideas that are that are telling, oh, yeah, it's like holding you back. Temperance, Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. It's like blocking out messages or energy that are saying that you need to continue working on something before you can have it, which sounds like, you know, I mean, that's true for a lot of things, but this is like, it's like somebody saying, oh, it's going to come in divine timing. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. Don't start your new path. It's an energy that's trying to stall you. And this could be collectively too, you know, like wait to, you know, something's coming down the line. You can't start anything now. Don't start a business. Don't do that. It's not the right time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Spirit's asking you to block out anything that's telling you you, you can't. Okay, anything that's saying you can't do or you shouldn't do this. Spirit's saying during this lunar cycle, go within. You remember the King of Swords, you know what's possible and what's not possible. You know how strong you are. Yeah, and you know what you can accomplish here. Okay, so trust your inner compass at this time, collective. Okay, is that it? Yeah, I feel like that's the message. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed that and it helped. I love you so much. I'll see you next time.